everyone. Uh, welcome, welcome to our third and final meeting of this 12 week mentoring programme. Um, and we asked uh, you to bring someone along with you or to share um, uh, you know, share the link with you, uh, with someone to come along with you today. So if you don't know me, my name is Simone and I'm the founder of Northern Power Women and we are really delighted to welcome you here today. Uh, really hope that you're all well. Um, we are in this third lockdown. I can't believe we're actually saying that, but our third lockdown. Uh, and I, I think it's more than fair to say that this one has been a struggle. But as I look out the window at the, the fabulous Liverpool Anglican, Anglican Cathedral, I see sunshine, I see longer days, I see lighter nights, and that's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? That's got to be a good thing. So um, I want to thank all of you for being so engaged in this programme. Um, now, some of the emails that Em's had, uh, Emma, Emma Mason, give us a wave. We wouldn't be doing oh. this here today <laughs> without Em, but that Em um, um, constantly puts into our team chat, oh my goodness, I've just had this, or someone has just fed back this. And do you know what? That, is, that has been so motivating for us, hasn't it, Em, um, just to get yeah. that feedback sort of directly from you. So thank you so much about sharing those conversations and sharing those stories. Um, and today, that's what we want to do. We want to share some of those stories and some of those successes uh, with you. Uh, we started this back, this journey uh, back in November with 150 of you uh, matching 75 pairs. And we wanted to, I think what we tried to do throughout the whole of this um, challenging time is, is to sort of try and keep people connected where we can be so disconnected uh, at times when over connected in other areas but we wanted to be able to we, we wanted this to be able to offer some support um, and as we know the power of mentoring is so strong and I think this is one of the things that stuck out at me at the feedback that we've got um, is is you you benefiting on both sides you're benefiting whether you're a mentee or you're benefiting as a mentor now I'm going to um, um, before we kind of Kicking, I'm going to share with uh, Chelsea Slater, who's one of our, our mentors and a first time mentor. She's actually shared with us a video, which I would like to see if the, the wonders of modern technology will work for me and just share a couple of minutes of what she uh, she has shared and what it means to her to have been part of this program. I'd also ask if if you could give me a thumbs up as soon as I start playing this, just to check that I'm not uh, playing a video out just to myself in the office one of your programs recently. I chose to become a mentor because I wanted a bit of experience in mentoring. I've never done it before. I wanted to build my own confidence. And also I'm really passionate about leadership and, lead and leading with empathy. And I thought that this would be a great way to actually demonstrate that and, and kind of lead by example in that way. So I've definitely seen that that's been something that uh, has been able to I've been able to do throughout the program I didn't have that high expectations at the beginning I was a bit nervous and I thought will I be able to get on with someone uh, within three sessions and actually it's been amazing um, even though it has just been three sessions we've really got on you matched us really well we're both from the, the same area of the world we're both from North Wales uh, she's working in a male dominated industry at the moment and I'm really passionate about uh, making women feel more confident in male dominated industries so we've learned a lot from each other there I think um, I'm just so inspired by her she's she's full of confidence and motivation and she's doing so well so I think I've got a, a lot out of it uh, or just as much as she has but I think the support that Northern Power Women has given us throughout and uh, the the kind of simple way that um, the process has been has, has been great. It's been a great first mentoring experience. I'll definitely do it again. I hope that me and my mentee uh, will continue the relationship and I'd love to mentor others as well through programmes like this and also become um, maybe a mentee myself through the programme. So thank you very much. I'm feeling very grateful to you and the team and also to my mentor as well. Thank you. Brilliant, thank you. Sorry, I'm, apologies. I think it's uh, 
our office uh, our office Wi-Fi is a little bit scratchy, but we'll put it in the um, we'll put it in the the group uh, in the LinkedIn group as well, and we'll share it out afterwards. But you know what? It's when we get things like that. Chelsea couldn't be with us today, so I just really appreciated that she took the time to kind of share her thoughts uh, with us as well. Um, and so, why did we do this? You know, we we want to. We're always passionate about connecting people with people and people with opportunities. But equally, you know, the power of people keeping people connected. Um, in, in regular times has always been something we're really passionate about and joining those dots and uh, making introductions. But I think it's fair to say that we've all needed, I think that just that little bit more support over the last 12 months. And, and for many, sometimes it's hard for us to ask, isn't it, when we need something. So we wanted to make it easy. So it was great that Chelsea referred to kind of the simplicity. We, we've not tried to over-engineer anything. Uh, we, we wanted to just create, if you like that, that connecting. And, you know, I think where the reason I've kind of built Northern Power Women is, is really through the power of that networking and community. And I love bringing wildly different people together. Um, so that's why we wanted to, to create this, this sort of 12 week, uh, this 12 week sort of connections, if you like. So what's happened, uh, you know, in the last 12 weeks, we've all probably been in many different tiers, especially uh, uh, pre-Christmas and probably lots of tears when the Christmas plans changed uh, as the pandemic continued. But we saw that there was still a way and vitally a need to keep people connected. Um, as I say, we've loved reading, really, really love reading some of those emails. And, you know, I want to be able to kind of open up if you've got any feedback in this session today uh, that you would like to share about your experience. And equally, we always not want to know what we can do to innovate and to do more and to develop because you know we only want to have and make sure we've got those purposeful connections so i know we've got a few um few people online already um i wonder if i could come to uh let's have mike blackburn mike blackburn i've not spoken to you for a long time are you with us mike uh yes yeah, simone that's frightening now uh, I know. Normally, gosh, we're harassing each other, aren't we? Or oh, no, it's actually Always. harassing you, aren't I? You know. uh, thanks so much, uh, Mike. You've been such a, a great advocate. Do you remember back in the sort of Northern Power Future days when we, Future, we launched yeah. the Paris Health Mentoring and you, yeah. you were so sort of engaged in that. But what, is, what has this been? Uh, what have you experienced through this process? And thank you for your support. So... so a few things, and one resonates with what Chelsea said, actually, even as an experienced mentee, a mentor rather, um, it's still a frightening experience to have that daunting first conversation with somebody you've never met before. Um, but it absolutely reinforced to me how privileged you are as a mentor to have a conversation with somebody when they talk to you about things which are difficult in their lives or things which are brilliant in their lives. It's, it really is a privilege. But as, as a mentor, I found two big things in there. One was... Um, reminded me of the positivity of active listening. Um, just listening to people's conversation and sometimes the power of silence. Um, you don't have to ask too many questions. The power of silence is just fantastic. But, but the other one um, is be brave. You've, you've got to go into the unknown. You, you've got to go into territory you, you might be unsure about. Um, but as long as you're both moving the same direction with that that confidence you have together be brave because if you, if you don't take those brave steps into the unknown you actually don't make progress um, and you skim the surface and mentoring is about getting underneath this the surface and um, uh, the, the, the only thing I would say that um, in this program we, we need another three four five different sessions after this um, the first three just kind of get under the skin of things and and desperate to get into into more with a both my my mentee and others as well. It was, it's been fantastic, Simone. Thank you for organising and thank you, Emma, as well, for organising. It's been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't be doing this without Emma um, providing the glue that brings us all together and equally to your passion and enthusiasm for this. And thank you. Thanks so much, Mike. I really appreciate uh, you sharing. I wonder if I could come over to Karen Thompson, seeing as you've come all the way, come all the way from Perth today. So I'll just unmute. Um, yes, I think... It's been a wonderful experience, and for me, it's it really has been truly global because the, the the amazing young woman that I was paired up with is actually an American who married an Englishman and he's living in Liverpool. <laughs> um, so you know, we we obviously had time differences, and we used WhatsApp and had some great chats, and, and in between, we've been you know emailing and and sending um, LinkedIn messages and stuff. So 
it, it's, it's been, and it's been wonderful because when she, when we started the program, she was waiting for um, some residency visa things to go through so that she could begin to work and she had an idea of what she wanted to do and then a few weeks ago she started a, a new job and she's having a wonderful time so you know it's been rewarding just having those conversations and because she the, the work that she's doing is actually in an industry that I used to work in um, and I'm I'm we're very well connected with a, a senior man in the in the industry who goes around the world when he can, um, training people in that industry. I've connected them together and um, she's following him and his advice. So yeah, it's, it's been fabulous. Oh, thanks, Karen. And I think I've enjoyed it in the, uh, those of you who've joined the LinkedIn group, um, I think it's been really cool to sort of have that sort of sharing or what my mentee's looking for such and such or my mentor's looking for that. I think this is where the, the power of that peer network, I think, comes into play as well, doesn't it? And that, you know, so it's, it's beyond, you've got the one-to-one -one relationship. And like Mike says, it's the relationship that kind of carries on going as well. I think um, one of the posts I saw Ch uh, Chelsea at the weekend when she posted, uh, she posted, you know we're not stopping after three we're going to keep on keep on going and um equally um two of our previous pairs from gosh a good two years ago Marnie Millard and Joe Conway they then jumped in the conversation said two years ago it two years after we're still going and I think we like to have a, I think there's something um, about having a, um, a time span, you know, and especially in this world at the moment where I feel like everything is in 12 week cycles and it's hard to sort of commit to, to sort of anything farther. It's, it then, at least it gives both both sides of the, um, the partnership, if you like, a, a start and end. And then it's your own kind of mutual agreement, isn't it? Is to keep that conversation, that friendship, if you like going, I think it's important. And I think that's the thing. And I think people who know me well know that when you get into my network, you're there for life. <laughs> so just as, as with you, Simone. <laughs> yep, I, I do like to say, I like to refer that I'm not just here for uh, for Christmas. It is definitely for life. <laughs> <laughs> Um, thanks so much. Um, I'm going to come to um, Sarah and Sarah Bennett uh, next and Phil, um, I'm going to come to you two if you can unmute yourselves, fabulous folk. Uh, Sarah and Phil, welcome to today's session. Thank you so much for getting involved in the conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been great. Let yeah. me try and and you are hold on a second because you are a pair aren't you that sounds <laughs> you yeah, are a match we are a pair. <laughs> and what have, what have you both learned phil do you want to go first or shall i start well i think one of the things i've learned um would require me to allow you to go first Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so, great well go. i'll start then um apologies for my barking dog in the background typically he's found his own reflection and started barking um i'll keep it brief and try and talk clearly uh, so i was really uh, privileged to be both a mentee and a mentor and it was uh, like chelsea it was my kind of first foray into mentoring certainly in a work capacity anyway so i was i came with a bit of trepidation would i have anything useful to say would i know about what she wanted information on um and i was pleased to say that despite not having worked in the capacity that my um my person was interested in i still had a lot to give and for me um the vulnerability um which i think is something that um mike touched on um I, resonated with me you you come with a certain amount you come with yourself and um bringing your authentic self to it was something that i um that I relished in, in, in both camps. And I certainly found it was a privilege both to learn from Phil, who is amazing, um, and also to watch uh, the person I mentored find what she already had within to answer her own questions, to uh, understand actually that she was further along in some places than others, um, and that actually some of her goals weren't serving her to get to her end game. Um, things like that were such a privilege for me to see. And, um, encouraging and empowering on both counts so realizing and kind of releasing the power within which sounds very kind of like some sort of title of a self-help book but really that's what i took from it on both fronts that i with the right questions and with the right nudges i can answer my own questions i mostly have what i need um or at least when i find the right question or when i find the right goal it's a lot easier to get the help that you need a lot more quickly and that's something that phil really taught me that i then um hopefully paid forward a bit to the person i mentored so that's what i learned and what i took from the process but really positive experience for me 
And thanks, Sarah. I think sorry. I think there's something um, we have quite a number actually of people who who wanted to do both. So we're the mentor mentee. So I, that's obviously double the time and double the headspace. But I hope uh, I hope that was really kind of good for you as well. So thanks, Sarah. Um, Phil, Hi. You, you've been to this already. <laughs> yes. Well, one of the things that I learned is you know as with as with Mike and with um, Karen, I'm I'm an experienced mentor and coach. Yada yada, all of that. Um, but one of the old old habits that I used to have. Um, was kind of getting people to go a bit too much with my energy and my pace and my thing because I can see this thing, I can see this shiny thing, I can see it, I can see it. And what I thought was wonderful was that Sarah and I had an episode where she was kind of saying, do you know what, you know, stop it <laughs> and listen to me, listen to where I am. And... Um, and that was great and we did and then you know the release in that next session because we both had that kind of double loop learning where you learn about the subject but how you're learning reinforces the learning um and so sarah was able to you know have that conversation with me i was able to listen and we we, we kind of moved forward and it was just so empowering because i'm kind of addicted to young energy and addicted to helping women and it, because in my career the development of other people is almost well it is it's like a vocation it's vocational and um it's just been such a gift to have this program to participate in and uh and i will definitely sign up for the next one and I will definitely be there for Sarah for as long as she wants and needs me. I would just say in terms of logistics and practicality, Sarah and I made it work for ourselves in terms of not always a longer session, sometimes just bite sizes and stuff like that. And I would say to someone who's wanting to do the program, don't feel constrained by th those boundaries, you know, negotiate the space. It's your space, negotiate it so it works for you but uh great let's do it again oh thanks for that. that's so interesting i think um uh i think if i recall rightly joanna joanna dr joanna where is she or joanna berry i think you talked about that didn't you on or i saw a post on linkedin i'm pretty certain at the start of this saying oh my gosh we've had our first meeting we're gonna meet every week <laughs> you know so i think what you're saying phil about you know set your own boundaries we try not to over prescribe there's lots of different types of forms of you know sort of mentoring and bringing people together but we wanted to this was sort of very much around the connectivity um yeah, you... I, think so. I think so i think uh, uh a mentee a mentees for life as far as i'm concerned i mean i the thought of connecting with somebody and then and then saying ta -ta, at the end of 12 weeks doesn't really appeal to me particularly so i'm afraid uh, danielle stuck with me as long as she wants me really um and she and i have got a chat in the diary for the next uh, i think sometime in the next day or two i can't remember exactly when it is i don't know whether danielle's even made it online but we're having some great conversations and she in fact is teaching me and i know i didn't sign up to be a mentee i think as much as anything else because i think i'd be a nightmare as a mentee i'd be knocking on your door in the middle of the night but um i i I had a conversation with Danielle about a situation that she faced in the office where I said, you know, I think if I'd been in that situation, I'd have called this person out on that. And then the next time I spoke to her, I had to confess that I had been in exactly the same situation and I had let happen to me exactly what I told her that I thought she should have called this person out on. And I was horrified with myself, absolutely horrified with myself. So I'm learning as much from the experience as she is and I think that will go on. And it's just great fun. It's like having acquired a, a younger sister who is prettier, who looks better on Zoom, who has a, a very much better background than I do because I've suddenly realized that all my washing is hanging up in the background here. <laughs> Whoever does that and I do that all the time. So it's great and I'm not going to uh, let the relationship drop. I don't, it's not a matter of letting it drop. There is no obvious reason as far as I'm concerned and as far as she's concerned why we would ever stop keeping in touch with each other. It doesn't feel like it has to happen. 
it's just one of those things where I'm thinking, when am I going to speak to Danielle next? And I get the little text from her saying, should we chat next week? And I think, yay, I need to talk to Danielle next week. And it's a good thing to do. And it feels like a positive thing in my diary that will energize me and uh, will, I hope, energize her as well. So it doesn't feel like a, oh my God, I need to speak to Danielle. It, it's a really fun thing to have in the diary. And I, I hope it will continue like that. And, you know, this has been a time where we've all been pressed as well, hasn't it? You know, we've all been literally going from meeting to meeting to meeting, sometimes, you know, forgetting to to eat, to coffee. Well, I don't suppose everybody forget to coffee, but, you know, but there's been times it's been so relentless. So it's, I'm really grateful that, you know, for all of you given that time. But do you think that has paid you back? Yes, absolutely. No question at all about it. There's, uh, there's never been a time where I felt like it's been a waste of time and to be frank I have chatted to Danielle while I've been walking the dog while I've been driving the car hands-free obviously uh, while I've been on pause with my latest Netflix binge while I've been in the kitchen doing things pottering around you know there's always time you can squeeze in a five minute chat it doesn't have to be half an hour and I think one of the things that I've learned from lockdown is that Meetings don't have to start on the hour and finish on the hour. You can have a quick 10 minute chat and get just as much done. So uh, I, I don't think it's ever felt like a bind and I don't think it ever will. Um, we've done that, haven't we, Joanna? We've absolutely done that. And you've got, right, I'm walking the dogs for the next time. And sometimes it's nice, get away from the screens and just have that kind of, that time. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Joanna. I'm gonna to come to Rue, Rue Ashworth. Um, thank you for uh, dropping us a note. Uh, would you, I feel like this is a bit fair. What would you like to share with the group? What would I like to share with you? So I've been um, a mentor through this journey uh, with Jyoti and I don't think Jyoti could be on here today. Um, so like my background is marketing, branding, consultancy. So it's all about getting under the skin of my audiences, if you like. So I was able to bring sort of that kind of skill set to this. And what I realized was just how much I loved it, how much I enjoyed it, how much it fed my soul, as much as I hope has helped Jyoti along her journey, but it's absolutely fed my soul to the extent that I've enjoyed it so much, I've signed up to do my professional coaching and mentoring qualifications. So it's something I've kind of fallen into and self-researched over the last couple of years anyway. But this exercise with you guys has absolutely tipped me over into thinking about it, maybe, should I, could I, to actually going, come on, put your money where your mouth is and, and actually sign up. So for the first time in God knows, a hundred years, I'm back into sort of proper education and actually having to hand in things on time and all of those sorts of nonsense. Um, but it's just been brilliant, that whole empathy and, you, you know, we all think we're empathetic, but really learning the skills of what it takes to listen, to, to let silence be silenced, to let ideas grow organically. It's, um, it's just been an awesome journey. And Jyoti and I haven't finished, because like you said, she's so busy and megaly successful, and she doesn't realize how amazing she is. So it's, it's been my absolute joy to say, do you know how awesome you already are? And you're still going. Um, and so she's really busy, and so we haven't even had our final session yet. But like you say, it won't be a final session. We keep messaging each other and dropping ideas to each other. So I feel like there's a real relationship there. Um, if only because, get this, it turns out she's working with an old fiancé of mine. How random is that? <laughs> so you know when you get to talking about the most <laughs> mad things and you go, hold on, just say that name again, would you? <laughs> so it's, it's been great. But I think also the whole... The cultural thing of it came through to me, actually, because, you know, I'm, I'm 50 and in my day, we didn't have mentors. We didn't ask for help. If you were a woman, you just had to be twice as good as any guy in the room. And if you're a woman with, of colour, you had to be five times as good as any guy in the room. And we've talked really quite openly and probably for the first time in my life, actually, I've been able to express quite openly the journey I've been on. And. And actually, Simone, when you first asked me to be part of the gang, I felt like a bit of a fraud because I thought I've never really banged the drum of, you know, equality and, and, and the female thing. 
but then when I look through how I've behaved, hopefully my behavior has been my calling card. But it's not necessarily a drum I felt I ever needed to bang. But now I feel so part of this group and so protected to be able to go, actually, it is important. And I, I want it to be different for the next generation and for people coming up behind me. So it was really lovely to share those stories with Jyoti as well, with her background. And Jyoti is, is, is actually mentoring and men, being a mentee yeah. as well. So again, so again, if you want something doing, give it to a busy woman. Thank you, Thank Ruth. You. Thank you. Um, thank Thank you, you. everyone for having your hands up. Uh, Helen, I'm coming to you now. How are you, lovely? Yes, very well, thank you. Um, great. It's, it's it's not a bad day um, here in Richmond in North Yorkshire. Um, hey, I just wanted to thank you, um, Simone, uh, for being part of um, part of this project. And and very much my experience has been similar to, to, to what other ladies have mentioned on the, on the call. Combination of um, perhaps being a bit apprehensive, at times feeling a bit of a fraud, to kind of flourishing into sort of this, this two way. Um, can you hear me guys is that Helen who's frozen it's Helen okay Helen well Helen is in mid flow there we'll come back to Helen uh, in a second Alison uh, can I come to you Alison Fisher how are you oh can you hear me yes sorry that yeah, was okay. sorry problem is you can't have a zoom meeting without somebody talking when they're on mute so apologies I had to be that person today so um from my perspective and, and listening to everything that I've heard so far today just reassured me that there's no one size fits all. And I think that's really important for anybody taking on this mentor role. I, I was a, a, a mentor for a lady called Danielle. I think it's a different Danielle to, to Joanne's uh, Danielle. So because you sound awesome, Joanne, I'm in awe of you listening to you. I want you to be my mentor next time. Um, but but seriously, you know, listening to the, the different experiences that we've all had it's because we've been true to ourselves and I think authenticity is something that is so important throughout all of this there isn't one way of being a mentor the best thing you can do is be yourself and be authentic and uh, I think uh, Rupinda you just talked about vulnerability and I think vulnerability and being prepared to dare I say expose yourself in, in some way shape or form it's really important because you don't get to see the real you. And I think that's when you get those connections. And everybody's talked today about the importance of connections and relationships. Uh, and we all feel like we've got lifelong friends now, which is so powerful. Um, and, and, and listening to those stories, you know, again, with Danielle, and she used, um, she's a best friend with somebody I used to work with. And, you know, like, God, the world is such a small place. <laughs> First introduction is, oh, you know Liv, and you used to be Liv's manager, and, you know, all of those things. Like, oh, my God, how could you have known when you're pairing us together that there's these backgrounds? So, Emma, you did a phenomenal job of being able to pair people who've got some connections or you've got some sort of crystal ball there. Um, but uh, but again, just reiterating everything that everybody else has said, and, and it is that connection, it is that relationship, and it is that that journey that we will continue to go on. And it's it's not the three sessions; it's what happens between those three sessions, which I found more powerful. Um, and I don't think Danielle is on the call today because fingers crossed she's got second round for a job interview uh, for a promotion, which is all the things that we've been talking about. And you just feel like everything crossed for her that she gets that that's wrong and if she doesn't so what you know what's what does she learn from that experience so i've just been the mirror up really, in a lot of respect but it's been fantastic loved it and um, we'll uh, continue to love to be part of this as well so thank you simone for for arranging all oh. of it thank you oh, i appreciate that thank you thanks Alison. i'm going to come to charlotte uh even elia now i'm going to come to all three of you at the same time. What could go wrong there, I'm sure. Let's have a little look. Hi, Charlotte. Hi. Hi. Hi, Eva. Hello. Let me... So tell us about your experience. Charlotte, you want, to start? <laughs> you want to start first, Charlotte? 
Yeah, sure. So my experience has been really good. So I've historically been an e-mentor for Hull University students, but I've never actually had a mentor myself. So I thought this was a really good um, opportunity for myself, but not only in terms of the opportunity, but the timing as well. So I've had a bit of a bit of a rubbish year, like many, many people in terms of like mental health and also thinking about my own worth and where I should be. So I've always thought that in everything I've done, I need to be always that next step ahead. I need to finish school, go to sixth form, go to uni, start this job, then move my way up. And constantly in my life, I've always had barriers. And my most recent barriers was not getting an internal role, which to me, it was it was my next step. It was where I wanted to be. And I really let it hit me. But being matched with Dawn, it really, really helped me see in my, my own worth. And actually, I've achieved so much in such little time. And to then be able to do some mock interviews and really look at my CV and really narrow down from all the waffle that was on four pages of the CV to really hard hitting points that when you speak to recruiters are like, oh my God, that's amazing. You've, you've done all this and you're 27 years old. So that to me has really helped. And um, I mentioned to Dawn this morning, that nothing's all official yet, but I've just accepted a new role myself. And that's all from Dawn's help in terms of the interview prep, the application side of it and also looking at my vision and where I want to be so yeah it helps me massively oh congratulations that's brilliant well done well done um Eva how, how's your experience been yeah sure uh tell me if you can't hear me I've been having trouble with my internet yeah it's been really good and I think this is probably one of the best decisions I've made in the last two years or so to join a mentor mentoring program so I just moved to the UK from Finland about three years ago. And in Finland, I was sort of at the top of my game. I had a senior position and I was feeling a bit bored. And so I moved here thinking, OK, I'm going to crack the ceiling even further, you know, go further, get higher. And then I sort of got here and got a bit of a reality check. And it wasn't a bad one. It was just that the opportunities were massive and I started to get confused about which direction I wanted to go. And being somebody who's a professional with work experience planning at least 15 years plus, it was a very difficult thing for me because I hadn't been in that position in a long time where I didn't know what I want to do. So I was when I joined up to the program, it was something I'd been thinking about that I need someone, I need I really need someone to guide me. And luckily I got Andrea Edwards and I must say she's brilliant because uh, through my discussions with her, I've actually found out I've been doing the wrong thing all this time. So I have no passion for my career as it is. And it's been very interesting. It's been really like eye-opening. And we are currently in this process where I'm trying to find out what is my why. So that I can make a decision on where to go next. And it turns out like also the confusion that I got coming here with all the massive opportunities that I saw is because I didn't know my why. I didn't know why I had been doing what I had been doing for the last 10 years plus. I thought I knew why I was doing it, but not really. So I've been really happy with the process and I've been quite happy in finding this new thing that she introduced to me called the Ikigai. I don't know how many people know about this. But so it's been really useful for me and I'm quite happy and we are still having conversations and we have a meeting coming up, um, I think, 3rd of March. And I'm hoping that we'll just continue working together even beyond that. And what actually something else I want to say. So when I signed up, I think I was thinking that I'm going to get somebody who works in my sector because I was thinking, OK, this is maybe what I need. But I got Andrea who's like, she, she's... She's an entrepreneur and then she runs her own, um, like by, she has different kinds of businesses like bars and she has restaurants or something like that. And then she also does some kind of tutoring for business people. And then of course she's passionate about other things like she likes um, traveling and she's passionate about animals, like different kinds of things. So I was really happy that I didn't get um, connected to someone in my own like sector because then they would have just directed me towards following this wrong path that I had already been taking you know telling me how to get up and above in what I'm already doing and it turns out I don't even like it you know <laughs> so I'm really happy that I found her and that 
she's she's not in my sector because she's helping me see opportunities and follow dreams and just see new ways and sort of like hone my skills to do other things that I'm really passionate about. It's really interesting because we, we choose to go for the cross sector because there's lots of um, sector specific organizations. And I think we've always prided ourselves on, on, on having uh, representation in all sectors um, uh, you know, and at different levels. So I always think there's a power from when I first started matching people, gosh, about 15 years ago when I was working in the hospitality and tourism uh, and passenger transport sections, I love the mystery for cross crossing over the brands because equally you know uh you know you're not you take away some of the competition as well so there's no competitive factor by you know sort of having sort of two hoteliers mentoring each other or stuff like that so I think there's a real power and I think there's a real always an understanding that you can learn from other people and other sectors so thank you uh and yes Andrea is wonderful we love Andrea she is uh she she constantly messages me go what do you need what do you need so I think you know there's it's the spirit I think which which everyone is as as embraced with this Thank you, Eva. Um, Elia, over to you. How are you? Hi, 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 everybody. Um, yeah, good. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I was a mentor on on this program, and I have to say, um, my mentee. I just don't think she realises how brilliant she is, and it's just amazing. And she just needed. Um, she just needed somebody to sort of help her. I, I didn't. I don't know if I did much, but she did. She she just needed somebody to sort of help her along the way and make her realise that. And um, you know, my my mantra is that you know you must always um, lift others as you climb yourself. And I think that there is real. Um, value and you learn a lot about yourself when you're a mentor and it gives you a lot of you 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 see the optimism and the confidence in the youth and it gives you a lot of energy yourself and you know when i sort of was growing up like um others have said you know i didn't really have role models as such um but you know you have something there's always something and you know, it, my, I came from a really sort of um, economically challenged background, but, you know, my parents made me, my parents were my sort of rock. They were the ones that said, you can do whatever, you know, they made me feel like I could do whatever I wanted. And I think if you can pass something on, you know, but having a role model and in later time, then Vanda Marie, Sharon Thorne, those people were great for me and then when you realize that somebody gifts you that and you can gift it if the little bit you can do is it is just it's just so valuable it's priceless really Oh, well, thank you, uh, Elia. Thank you so much. Uh, and I know your mentee as well has really enjoyed uh, having you as their mentor as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Rad, um, I think we've got time for one more. Uh, I didn't expect to have so much overwhelming feedback here. So this is this is fantastic. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for being part of this. Hi, Simon. Radhika here. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, just like most of you are saying right now I'm um, preparing lunch in the kitchen and joining the call. <laughs> so, uh, thanks so much, uh, Emma and Simon, for um, arranging this. And like Ava was saying, um, uh, getting to talk to someone who's in a completely different sector was uh, a big thing for me. I think Barbara is here today. So if you can bring her on as well, that will be really great, Simon. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, thanks so much <laughs> for listening to me talking. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Radhika is so cheerful. Her, she comes on screen and she starts smiling and my day immediately lifts. It's fantastic, like she's doing this, I feel better already. <laughs> Maybe I'll say a couple of words and you can say uh, a, a few if you want. 
so for me uh, talking to barbara was like um always felt calming um looking at her and i usually go out on evening walks with my husband to discuss anything that is brewing in my head but discussing the same things with barbara i got um a different angle to it so which really helped me think from i uh, think in a different perspective which helped quite a lot um and yeah that is that is the best and right now she agreed to help one of my friends as well so <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that barbara and i'll let you also say a few words thanks radhika barbara Well, thanks to Simone for setting up the program. I mean, I enjoyed doing this type of thing anyway, but it has been special because it's rare that I get to be a mentor to somebody who's really a peer, who's really well respected in her industry and so knowledgeable. And like everyone's been saying on the call today, they've been working with people who are very good at what they do. It's almost like they don't realize it. <laughs> you know, we'd had conversations about what she was going to do next and how she's going to develop, and I'm thinking that you already have so many skills to offer so it was almost reflecting a mirror back at myself of like when I'm saying this do I do that as well and going back to what the lady was saying earlier about you know sometimes you think about what you're doing in your own life that you're telling your mentee so I I did learn a lot from the experience and and like I said it was a joyful experience you know we laughed so much during our sessions and I know that wasn't what it was for <laughs> but it was just a pleasure <laughs> to be on the call in these dark days of 12 weeks of lockdown so yes i really have appreciated it and yeah i'm sure we'll stay in touch yeah, sure. <laughs> well, thank you thank you so much both of you and time is time is running out i don't know where that has gone but i absolutely really appreciate you all giving your time today we'll put this on online in the the youtube channel later but uh, this is our pilot this is our pilot of our virtual 12 week mentoring program um and you know this was all about creating that legacy it was all about you know how we're paying it forward so we want we you know are asked for you to now is to who can we who can you open that door from so we've got um on our power-platform.com we've got our we've created a coffee and connect it's previously called coffee break mentoring and this is where we will match uh match you with sort of one off 20 30 minute conversations so just almost like a as a as a check in and chat kind of arrangement so please if you would like to get involved in that we would love you to take part but equally reach out to somebody reach out to somebody that you can pay it forward to and get them engaged we want people to not feel as though they're on their own that there is support out there and it's a great taster especially if they've not been involved in any kind of mentoring before so we do ask that all of you please sign up please continue to pay it forward uh, one other things that would be great is on the 8th of uh, march which is international women's day we've got an npw live event many of you have already shared your videos thank you so much my northern Pound man is is currently going through them all um and and he's just like this is amazing this is fantastic that people are sharing their messages sharing their voice we ask you to keep on on doing that please but also on the 8th we've got a uh, carousel uh networking so anyone that is in your world that is at the early part of their career get them to sign up it's a 45 minute three rotations with three different um industry uh leaders entrepreneurs or or, or business people uh but please get involved we'll um and we'll share that out in the follow up email uh but please sign up to mpw lab encourage those people at the start of their career uh to get involved it'd be fantastic joanna we know we're already working uh, with you at uh Durham University Business School around the the carousel mentoring that we're doing for university students which is really exciting but if you do want to get involved in the coffee and connect please sign up by the 30th of March and we will be matching you by mid to late April after the Easter holiday so thank you again and we'll also be sending over a feedback because we always want to improve we always want we're, and we're conscious about the how we match and obviously we don't match based on on um ex boyfriends and ex fiancés and stuff like that. I don't know how that's kind of made it worked into it but but we do that the personal side is is really important as well. But thank all of you today for giving us your time. Thank all of you for the the energy and effort that you have put um it, you know connecting each other. It has been just brilliant. So thank all of you. Uh really appreciate 
um, you know, sort of having you part of this conversation. Please stay connected. Please keep continuing uh, to pay it forward. And uh, we look forward to staying connected with you. Have a great uh, Monday, uh, everyone. Uh, thank you again so much. And we will see you again very soon. Moan, uh, thank you to you and Emma. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, like thank I said, you right, so at start, much. right at the start, without you putting your time to volunteer uh, and giving us the, the really exciting yet challenging uh, opportunity to match you all is is just fantastic. But but thanks for your generosity of time. And yeah, massive thanks to Emma, yeah. who, who kind of absolutely is the glue, like I said earlier, is the glue in all of this. So thanks. Thanks, everyone. Have a fantastic Monday. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all very soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye. -bye.